Tonight, a father's determined pursuit of justice. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albright. I'm Eric Phillips. Years of silence and a case gone cold, but that won't stop this dad from tracking down his son's killer. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson spoke with him tonight. She's joining us live with how he plans to keep the case alive. Roland, good evening. Good evening, Eric. Yeah, tonight I spoke with father Tony floor. He tells me whoever is responsible for his son's murder, not only murdered his son, but his best friend. It's now been four years since his tragic death and his family wants answers. For Tony floor answers in his son Samuel's death have not come easy. Just trying to get it out into the community. This weekend marks four years since his son, a Thomas Dale High grad, was murdered the night of April 15th, 2019, in the south side of Richmond. Today, like many days in the past, Floor's asking the community for their help. After handing out flyer after flyer in the city of Richmond today, Floor is hoping they prompt someone who knows something to say something. I cannot continue to live in the past of four years ago. Richmond police say they responded to Meridian Avenue near Jefferson Davis Highway and found Samuel shot. He was taken to a nearby hospital and died three days later. So far, Floor says the investigation has discovered his son's murder was a possible drug rip, which is when a drug dealer is robbed. But there are still holes in the investigation that he would like filled. I'm told Samuel was last seen with Shamel McLaughlin and Tavon Todd, also known as Nino. But the person of interest in this case is Jesus Turner, who is currently behind bars for the death of nine-year-old Marquia Dixon. What Floor would like to see is someone charged and the case brought before a judge. Now, if you know anything, you're asked to contact Sergeant George Wade. I'll have his direct contact information in this story online at WRIC.com. Reporting live in Richmond tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News.